Yeah, apology, apology, apology. Uh, apology can be accepted, and uh, the person apologizing may not be apologetic. And this is uh, Tinubu has basically apologized to the Nigerian people and asked them to forgive him. Uh, this is coming from Alba. In a recent uh, interview with uh, Channel's Television, Senator Bassett Alba, uh, as yeah, Senator Alba. In a recent uh, interview, uh, the chairman of the Senate uh, Committee on uh, Petroleum Upstream talked about the significant impact of former President Olusha Gobasanjo's uh, introduction of the cellular network in Nigeria. He recalled that during the initial phase, mobile phones were extremely expensive, costing over 100000 and however, as time passed, the prices of phones dropped considerably, making them accessible even to people uh, living in rural areas. Senator Albert acknowledged that new regulations often have a negative uh, impact on the general public at first, but he emphasized that in the long run, these changes bring about benefits. He expressed a similar sentiment regarding President Tinumbu, uh, Tinumbu's idea, ideology, uh, also suggesting that while Nigerians might not see immediate benefits, they can expect uh, positive uh, outcomes over time. Also to gain the respect and uh, trust of Nigerians, Senator Albert believed that uh, leaders must uh, demonstrate uh, that they have the best interest of people at heart again to gain the respect and the trust of uh, Nigerians. Senator Albert uh, believed that uh, leaders must uh, demonstrate that they have the best interest of the people at heart. He also mentioned uh, President Tinumbu's attempt to reach out to the Nigerian uh, people and uh, seek forgiveness. Understanding the weight and the suffering they may have endured, he illustrated this with a historical example, mentioning how the introduction of the cellular, uh, cellular networks uh, led to increased uh, accessibility, enabling uh, even those in rural areas to own a phone and phones and enjoy the convenience of a communication. In his words, if you want the respect of the Nigerians, you have to convince them that you are looking out for their best interest. In his words again, he says, if you want to respect or if you want the respect of Nigerians, you have to convince them that you are looking out for their best interest. And so President Tinumbu has basically uh, apologized to the Nigerian people and asked uh, them to forgive him. I have some idea of the way or uh, with and the suffering you will bear. As competition among network providers uh, intensified, the efficiency of the telecommunication industry improved, also resulting in positive feedback loops. Senator Albert uh, pointed out that this development allowed uh, Nigerians uh, to make free phone calls during specific hours, further benefiting the public. Hmm. Senator Albert uh, urged the respected audience to share their thoughts on the matter, also inviting them to comment uh, below. The interview shed a light on the transformative uh, impact of uh, introducing uh, cellular networks in Nigeria and emphasized uh, the importance of considering long-term benefits when implementing new regulations or policies. Now, President Tinumbu's effort uh, to connect with the Nigerian people were acknowledged, also recognizing the potential for positive change in the future. Yes, this is coming from Senator Albert. Mm. According to him, he said, Tinumbu has basically apologized uh, to the Nigerian people and asked them to forgive him. Mm. This is coming from Albert. Uh, Albert is a senator. Uh, in in the House of Representatives or in the National Assembly, Senator Bassett Abbott is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Petroleum Upstream 
Uh, he has talked about the significant uh, impact of former President Olusha Gondasanjo's introduction of the cellular network in Nigeria. He recalled that during the initial phase, uh, mobile phones were extremely expensive, uh, costing over 100,000 naira uh, per one. He, however, as time passed, uh, said the prices of phones uh, dropped considerably, making them accessible even to people living in rural areas. Yeah, I know you have uh, one or two things to share about this, and I, be I believe uh, be uh, before time, you know, will permit us to do that in the comment section, I would like to read a few comments. As been said, Senator Abad argued the respected audience uh, to share their thoughts on the matter, also inviting them to comment below. Uh, the interview shed uh, light on the transformative uh, impact of uh, introducing cellular networks in Nigeria and uh, emphasized the importance of uh, considering long-term benefits when implementing new regulations or policies. President Tinumbu's efforts to connect with the Nigerian people were acknowledged, recognizing the potential for positive uh, change in the future. Now, straight to the comment session. According to James, uh, Dara Semi says, How would you compare the introduction of cellular phones with the removal of fuel subsidy? This man lacks sense of uh, reality. Okay, somebody is replying by saying, My brother, Ethereum, you. I think, uh, I think, say, everybody done the craze for this country until you spoke up or I did I on something. It simply implies that they don't care in as much as it is easy for them. Well, uh, from this narrative, from what uh, Senator Bassett Albert has said, and uh, you know, comparing with what James Darasimi said by saying, "How would you compare the introduction of cellular phones?" Now, he was just using example. Senator Albert said, for instance, when uh, Oprah Sonjo came in on board, brought in cellular phone, it was very, very expensive for all of us to get. The adjective in there is the expensive. Expense at the expense of hundred thousand naira. That's what he meant. Now, fuel subsidy removal, you know, has you know given Nigerians another thought or sense of negativity by increment in the fuel. So, five hundred and ninety or six hundred naira per fuel compared to hundred thousand then. At the long run. The hundred thousand we use in buying phone or cellular or there, but became you know easy for us now. Everybody, every household can use a phone. In other words, after buying a phone at that time, you still want to buy SIM, and the SIM you could get for fifty thousand or thereabout. That is where the challenge came from, and this that's a comparison. It's not saying for subsidy or not for a subsidy. When uh, Tinumbu was in the Lagos was in Lagos but it was Lagos State Governor. Fashola came in on board, you know, followed his policy and started destroying so many things. They said Tinubu has come again, Fashola has come again, his boys and some other things. Now Lagos is a befitting place for every one of us to stay or live in. That's the comparison. That's what the narration speaks about. It's not even talking about the forest subsidy. But the main point is that the hook in there is the expense. At the expense of 100,000, at the expense of 590, 560, 600 per liter, 700 per liter, dollar 800 and there, but at the expense, it will get to a point that we will get it at a lowest price and durable price. Thanks for listening. Time is not on our side.